Welcome back to the stage of history. What's good, everybody? Yes, yes. it is here. The wait is finally over. It is here. Lockout men, mates to call. Episode three. Episode three. Yeah. This episode is a very good episode because I did not make the call this time. The call was made to yours truly. And it's from JB Hunt. Yes. Now JB Hunt is a good company. I have talked to a few drivers that has worked with JB Hunt. One of the one of the recruiters called me up and um uh, I decided to talk with him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the last call I made was uh, to Will Tran. Not a good call. Not a good call. But still, try them out. But if you guys are interested in Will Tran, go ahead and give them a call. And the only reason why I am late posting the JB Hunt call video is because I had an issue with uh, Will Tran. You guys didn't like the call. I personally didn't like the call. Obviously somebody from the home office didn't like the call because they had the video flag. I had to take a, take a little minute to get that taken care of, which I have, and the video is still available for you to watch. You can watch it right there. Right there, yeah. Click on, click on that and watch it right there. Enough. Let's get into this video. Let's get into lockout men. Mates the call. And let's see what JB Hunt, which they call me, is all about. Let's get into that. Alright. Yeah, I was uh I was gonna I was gonna just give you guys a call. Um didn't expect to get one from you today. What's your name? Jared. Alright, Jared, thanks. Alright, so JB Hunt. All right, so I got I got a few questions uh, that I want to go through uh, go through to find out a little bit more about the company. I appreciate uh, you taking the time out to uh, to talk to me, man. I appreciate you uh, calling me, giving me a call today. I appreciate you answering. <laughs> no problem. You know I appreciate that. All right, so I would like to start off by asking right quick. Uh, company sponsored training. Uh, do you offer CDL training? If you were in the military, uh, have you know, military experience, then yes, we got a program for that. Other than that, not really. Now, do you have your CDL license or are you just doing like local run? Uh, yeah, I have my CDL license already. And this right here is just general question. So I can, okay. since you said no, I can skip that whole paragraph. What are your higher areas? I'm out of Ohio. So what do you guys hire out of? So it's going to depend on location. So you're are you still you're still in Ohio, right? Yes, I am. All right. So and I'm looking at all the jobs in your area right now. So I'm just going to pull the very first one actually. So my hiring areas or my scheduling hiring areas are ones in Columbus and ones in Chicago. Are there any other, are there any other areas that you hire out of, or do you just do like all 48, or is it dependent on where a person lives? So let's say. Um, let's say we're doing a relocate. Let, let me see. Where this, let's say I'm going to relocate you to Minnesota. Okay. Pull this one up real quick. So this one would be in Columbus or Harrisburg, one of the two. Okay. So it just depends on exactly where the account is, where you're located. You know, this this one that's in Indiana, mm -hmm. the relocate in Indiana. Yeah, Columbus and Harrisburg. Where's the uh, terminals located at? So that's going to be dependent on the account. So wherever the account is, because a lot of it, let me see here. Let me, I'm going to pull up this PPG Global uh, orientation is in Columbus and Harrisburg. Um, I'll just read you off like the kind of the position of the detail is. All no touch freight PPG is a regional job with drivers delivering to one customer. Bell paint, coating, recess. Uh, glass to auto plants, warehouses, and uh, paint stores. 50% drop and hook, 50% live load, unload. 60 to 70% of the loads are hazardous, so you get a $20 hazardous day. 
Five percent of the load is the canvas. So you get a thirty-five per canada load. We also run heated trailers in the winter and then reefers in the summer. All right, so that's just uh, one particular account, right? That yeah, that's just one one account. Um, I've got how many? I got open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, I've got 18 in your area. Is there a sign-on bonus, and if so, how much? So each uh, position may or may not have one. Let me look, I, I know that P&G did, that P&G Global. Uh, P&G Global on this account is a $3,000 sign-on bonus, 500 off their first dispatch, 500 at 30 days, 500 at 60 days, 500 at 90 days, and 1,000 at 180 days. Paid out uh, within the first year. Correct. What about what about sign on bonuses for for other lanes like over the road or something like that? Let me look at the the OTR run. All right, so this one is the East, so it's a three thousand dollars sign on bonus. Two hundred fifty for twelve weeks plus an additional thousand. It's accident free for the first year. DBR must be eligible for dispatch and active on same position in order to receive payout. Drivers uh, who have recorded truckload bonuses in the last six months not eligible first payout after the first dispatch it's not like a direct monthly payout it's sort of it's it sounds to me this one this one continues weekly for the first 12 weeks plus you'll get an additional thousand dollars if you're accident free for the first year oh okay okay so there's no stipulations on that sign on bonus then no on this one it's 250 for the first 12 weeks, and then after the first year, if you're accident free, they're going to give you an extra thousand dollars. All right. Do you require hair follicle tests for pre employment drug testing? You know what? Um, I'm going to have to ask that question. Okay. You give me one second, and I'll ask that question, okay? Okay. push out, you know, about 60 to, 60 to 90 days. Is there agility test requirement? Uh, some loads will have an agility um, test. I don't know on this one. Let me look to see if I can find out to give you a better explanation. Each one of them is going to be different. Um, there's there's going to be um, somewhat of an agility test. I don't. That could be walking upstairs for like three minutes you know the stair step for three minutes now if it was like it depends and it also depends on the actual job that you do some of the jobs require a little bit more of an agility test mm -hmm. than others all right what's your policy on felons on felons yeah we take those at a case-by-case -case basis okay. um that's not up to me our investigation division where they go you know, run your criminal background and they go through all that they'll take each thing separately. Where is the orientation held at? So, uh, orientation, um, like I'm looking at this OTR run right now, you got one in Columbus and one in Chicago. Oh, being that I'm from no. Cleveland, I will probably be going to the Columbus one? Uh, yeah. Do you get paid for orientation and how long is that? Uh, depends. I'm looking at that right now. Most of them, most of the orientation, uh, is paid and usually it's three days. Okay. Of orientation. So if you come in on, if I schedule you on the 29th, which is a Monday, you'll be here, you know, dispatch out on Wednesday if you pass everything. Drivers that's coming straight out of uh, truck driving school. How long, okay. how long is the training time with a trainer? So usually on this, on this account, this OTR right now, I need at least three months of experience. And then if you qualify with the three months experience, then we're going to it's three months within with a six months within the schooling of the first year so you should be good if you graduated uh school and you've got three months you want them to already have three months before you take them on right correct oh okay so you guys don't don't offer like like student training or anything like that for drivers no. okay okay so i can skip the rest of this question What's the CPM, cent per mile? What's the starting CPM? CPM is going to depend on jobs. So this one right here, 
starts off at 47 cents per mile. Now, that 47 cent, is that straight pay on miles or is that a sliding scale? Uh, that miles are paid on the Rand McNally miles. Again, that 47 cent that you just said that's starting, that's direct starting pay. That's no additional, like, start at like 38 cent and you'll get a bonus attached and it'll jump it up to 47 cent. Nope. Starting pay. Okay. 0 0.470. Do you offer pay advance? No. Do you get how That's often? That's kind of what that transition is. Is that extra transition money to kind of help you get to that portion? You probably misunderstood what I said about that. All right. So I'm already a driver. I'm already working for your company. If I need if I need a pay advance until the next paycheck, do you guys offer that? Let me ask, let me ask that question and I can get right back with you. Okay. Right? I want to make sure you have all the information you need. I appreciate that. All right, one second. All right, so you're still with me? Yes. Okay. All right, so what I'm being told is when you go to orientation, there's going to be a certain time that you can ask where they will ask if somebody needs an, uh, an advancement. And at that time, at the terminal where they do that, they're going to decide that there. And I, we don't know here how that's broken up. It's, it's by the terminal manager. Okay. Over there. So, yes, it can to okay. get you through until you're, you're starting to run. Okay. All right. Because you're when you get through orientation, you're gonna immediately you're gonna have a truck there waiting on you, and then you're gonna start your run. Right, but what I'm saying, okay, well I, I'll take that as a as as a as a fair answer. Yeah, but there is a possibility of yes, the amount we just don't know. How often do the pay increase? Um, so I'll just read you the pay on this one: forty cents per mile. Miles can range from two thousand to twenty five hundred per week. Miles are paid on the ranch head, uh, miles. Accessory pay averages of 68 per week, uh, equivalent to about three cents per mile for a W-2. This is calculated over time and it's now figured into the cent per mile above. Okay. So it's an extra three cents per mile um, on your W-2 for your accessory pay. All right. Uh, yeah. Examples uh, for your detention time, your short hauls, etc. Transition account, you know, we already went over that transition. Uh, let me get into this real quick. Driver must be eligible for dispatch every day in order to receive payouts. First payment will be on the first paycheck after the first dispatch. Drivers who have received a truckload bonus in the last six months are not eligible for this bonus, but you will be able, looks like you'll be able, eligible for the bonus. Drivers who receive an additional $1,000 after the first year of employment as long as they remain accident free. So your yearly average can range from sixty to sixty-five thousand dollars. Earning potential is up to seventy thousand dollars plus. Is it offer and is it mandatory? The per diem? Yes. Um, I don't see. It's not telling me. It's not offered on the vacation and holiday pay. Do you guys offer that? I'm looking. It's going to be by. Uh, job specific. Do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? Yes. Now that's going to be depending on per job because breakdown pay, if you break down and let's say you break down, you're close to a terminal, we're going to come pick you up. We're going to give you another truck and then you're going to continue on. We have the, we have the fleet for that. So you're not going to lose the money that you would be sitting at the, in the yard waiting for your truck to get done. Okay. We're going to get your truck. We're going to get you flipped into another one and then let you go on so you can make your money. What about uh, what about detention pay? Dep detention pay is based on per job of how it's going to go. And the one that I've been on, let me see, detention. Detention is the accessory pay, so it's $68 per week. So wherever, if you get detention or a short haul or et cetera like that, it's showing an average of $68 per week. Okay. So it's an ex extra $68 in your check per week. How often do layovers happen, and what's the pay on that? I have yet to, to see a big yearly, uh, uh, like a detention, like a long detention time because of we have how much freight we have to move. Uh -huh. So your your wheels are gonna be rolling. Okay, is there multiple and, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, just real quick, your time off on this one, travels will earn one week pay time off a vacation for every 12 weeks out, four times a year. Uh, they are paid $800 per week during the four weeks that they are off. 
Uh, time off can be taken anywhere in the wheel run. Um, so if you're in Florida and you're like, you know what, I want to take a week off in Florida while I'm down here, you can. Okay. Uh, if a driver lives in Connecticut or New York City, they have to leave the truck at the East Brunswick Terminal during their time off. Is there multiple stop pay? Because remember, I'm just going off this stop. Each stop is going to be different. Okay. Um, this one is does not have a multiple stop pay. Now, you already mentioned some of the benefits, but what are other benefits that you guys offer? So, for, for like medical and or you want like the best benefits? Yeah, medical. What do you offer? Medical, dental? So, I got medical, dental, vision, disability life, and the company match 401k. Okay. So, everything that I can get here at corporate, you, you get the same stuff I get. Do you? Yeah. Now, you mentioned hazmat. Is it required? Uh, on this job, let me see if the hazmat's required. It is not showing me on this one that it is required. I don't have my hazmat. So if, if, I start, if I start working with you and decide to get my hazmat, would I get reimbursed for it? Yes. How many miles can a driver average a week? So, and it's it is, uh, job by job basis. So this one right here is averaging miles per week is 2,200 miles a week. You already mentioned some of the lanes. What are other lanes available there? Oh man, I've got, I mean, just in Ohio, basically, um, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, a terminal in Minnesota, um, and I've got to relocate in Rome, New York, um, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania area, New Jersey, New, Newark, we've got them everywhere. Do you guys have an idle policy? So oh. that's, so the best with that is as most of our fleet, like this wheel run right here, your equipment, 91% of the fleet is a 2015 Freightliner Cascadia with a 72 inch sleeper. Um, I do have a little bit newer ones. My 18 equipment is gonna roll out in June. Uh, most of them are gonna be manual, but I'm gonna see something real quick. All right, so average length of haul is about 500 miles, driver re uh, referral program, uh, passengers and pets are allowed. Uh, you're, you got a million mile safety bonus. So we have a million mile safety bonus if you hit a million miles. So your million mile safety bonus can range from 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, and 50,000 dollar bonus. We also have in our trucks, we have a Way My Truck app, which allows drivers to uh, scale their load using the app instead of paying for the scale up front. Uh, EF, EFS cards are available for those without smartphones. ELDs are complement, so you have the ELDs already in the trucks. All trucks are equipped with Navgo, driveways, and XM radio provided by us. Career path into regional and local jobs in most areas. Partner with Women in Trucking, and we are the top 100 military-friendly employer of the GI jobs, ranked number four in transportation industry. Are all miles paid, and how is it calculated? How They're all calculated by the cent per miles, off the your, your miles off the Rand McNally. Okay, so it's basically zip code to zip code. Yeah, zip code to zip code. You already mentioned the uh, the scale app, but do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Um, I don't know about that one, but I can find out. Give me a second. Yeah, we'll reimburse for um, tollways and... Uh, what's the percentage of drop and hooks? Drop and hooks, yeah, got it. Uh, I got a 75% drop hook and the majority is no touch break. You mentioned about home time earlier. Uh, what's, yeah. the, what's, the, what's the home time policy there? From what I've heard and seen, they're going to try to get you, if, we can, if you can map it out to where you can get home on one of those runs, then they'll, they'll try to get you pushed through there. The majority of it is going to be that, you know, you're going to earn your time off. The longer you're out, the more you're going to get time off. What's that? What's the actual amount? Like 14 to or? 14? So this one, if drivers on the pay time off, so basically home time, because that's what they're calling home time, right. is the pay time off. Uh, one week paid time off for every 12 weeks you're out. Okay. Four okay. times a year. So you're going to get about four, you're going to have, there's 52 weeks in a year. So 
I hope you're not out the whole 52 weeks. Uh, okay. Because I would think you like five weeks of uh, vacation. So it looks to me that for 12, 12 weeks out, which is uh, four times a year, you're getting one week. What's the what's the maximum amount of days I can take off? Uh, it looks like the maximum amount it will be four weeks per year. Maybe I'm not so clear on that point. So uh, let, let me put it to you this way. All right. So let's say that um, let's say that I decide to take I you know I come home on my home time. I decide to take three to four days off. What's the maximum amount of days on, you know, the take off before I either lose the truck or be reseated into another truck? Okay, so for, and I'm trying to figure out how to answer that. So every time that you're out for 12 weeks, you're gaining a week. So okay. let's say you're out for uh, 24 weeks, okay? Mm -hmm. You've gained two weeks of time there. Oh, okay, so that's so basically that would be my maximum amount of days that I can take take off straight. Correct. Is there slip seating in the company? No. Well, yes and no. So in this job that we're talking about now, no, there's no slip seating. There are some that are local or uh, semi-local that that's going to be slip seating, but this one won't be. What's the uh, driver to fleet manager percentage there? Job by job basis. If I'm going to have to look, that's one of those questions I'm probably going to have to ask. Yes, sir. You just—I just got lucky. The actual uh, hiring manager, not hiring manager. The uh, I don't know, can't find it now. <laughs> you know, yeah, the hiring manager was standing right next to me. So oh, okay. on this account, it's about about thirty drivers to one manager. It's oh. kind of how they have it broke down. All right, what's the uh, pet and rider policy there? Uh, it's about three hundred dollars for a pet. Yep, three hundred dollars paid up front, or it can be ducted out of the check. Dog right. or cat under sixty pounds, no aggressive breeds. All right. What about the um, what about the rider? Uh, riders are free, no fee. Oh, no but fee. I must okay. have prior approval and passenger authorization form completed. All right. Is there forced dispatch to NYC and or California? No. So that's gonna be. Uh, I gotta see where this load's gonna take you. Cause I'm going off of this one. I'm not seeing where this one will go into New York, but it's not telling me no New York, California, or Canada. Drivers are not typically go any further north than New York State and no Canada. So this run has nothing north that nothing northern than New York and but and no Canada. So you're not going to go to Canada. All right, Most so, of it customers mainly on the uh, east of I-35. What about uh, over the road? Um, is over the road force dispatch? It's not showing because that's what I'm on right now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. If I decide mm -hmm. to quit, what would be the policy for turning in the truck? So usually you'll go to the, the nearest terminal that you're at. Since if you're doing an OTR, you go over to the nearest terminal, drop the truck, and then you'll find your way back that way okay now if uh now for uh for any reason that i decide to uh drop the truck off at the terminal i won't be uh i won't uh, nothing won't show up on my dac report as an abandonment if i decide to drop the truck it, at the terminal right correct you just drop it off the terminal and then uh Usually they like to have it at the terminal. You got it. Okay. Um, that way, because that that's kind of where it came in at. That's kind of their vehicles. But if you drop it off at the terminal, you turn it in respectfully. There will be no an abandonment. Now, if you just left it on the side of the road or at a truck stop or something like that, yeah, then it's going to show up. You mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, some equipment, but what are the equipments do you offer? Are there autos and ten speeds or both? So it, we've got both. It just depends. You know, ninety like I said, ninety one percent of the fleet is going to be the two thousand fifteen Freightliner Cascadias, which we're going to start moving those out and having eighteens come in. Mm -hmm. Those eighteens aren't coming in until June. 
Some of them are going to be automatic. Some of them are going to be manual. Can a driver request to be put in a manual? I mean, to be uh, to be put in an automatic? I can request it. I don't know if you'll get it. All right. So, what divisions do you guys offer? I've got reefers, intermodal flatbeds, rarely flatbeds. I've got a final file. I even got heated. Oh, and you wanted, yeah, did you want to know something else about our, our truck? For driver comfort and for, comp and for company focus on the driver, what amenities do you guys offer inside the trucks? Uh, I've got a power converter, I've got refrigerators, I've got coffee machines, I've got uh, microwave, TV, or I'm not sure about TV, I think you bring your own TV. I've got heated bunk. Ah, oh, what else is there? XM satellite radio at no charge to you. Your nav uh, Navigo, no charge to you. Your driveways at no charge to you. Does the trucks come with a drive cam? And if so, is it forward facing the driver or is it forward facing outside or both? We do, and it's forward facing out, not the driver. What are the trucks governing that? 65. Do you have an open door policy? I, what do you mean by open door policy? So if I have a problem or anything like that, I wouldn't have any issues talking to anybody about it? Yeah. Okay. Call us, you know, or we would like for you to go to your dispatch manager or your hiring manager for that. Mm -hmm. or, but if you need to call me and then I need to figure out how I need to get it up the pipeline, I can. That's not a problem. What's your policies on cell phones? So all trucks are equipped with Bluetooth. So if you have a, a phone that has a Bluetooth capability, smartphone, it'll link up. You already mentioned that we, uh, that you guys need like three months of experience to come in. But if a driver already has his CDLs and haven't driven in a while, do you guys offer a refresher course for drivers that haven't driven in a while? Yes, we've got some refresher. Um, They'll make that decision when you start doing the application process. Okay. Um, they'll they'll kind of go over that with you. But what's the number one reason to drive for JB Hunt? In my in my opinion, it's when we say we're going to get you home. That's when we're going to get you home. Or if we're going to give you something, that's what we're going to give you. You okay. know, if, if on this job right here that I'm just basing basing it off of, if I can find it again, there it is. Uh, if I say I'm going to give you a 50, 2015 Freightliner Cascadia, that's what I'm going to give you. Okay. If I tell you that you're going to get your um, heated bunk, that's what I'm getting. Your XM. You ask for it, I'm going to try my damnedest to get it. Okay. You know, I tell you that you're going to get a one-week paid time off vacation for 12 weeks out, I'm going to stand by that, and that's what you're going to get. That's pretty much it as far as questions I got. Is there anything... Is there anything you can add that I haven't touched on already? The only thing that I could probably add on to the million questions that you have mm -hmm. is, let me ask you this. What do you, what is it that you really look for in a company? What is it that you really want? When I want to drive for a company, all right, I want the company to be pretty much honest to my needs as far as a driver goes. Um, it's not just about money and home time anymore. It's, it's more of what type of equipment that I have, what type of uh, what type of fleet manager that I'm going to incur. You know, is I'm going to get the type of fleet manager that's going to work with me, or I'm going to get the type of fleet manager that's going to be a dick to me. You know. Uh, Look, and as far as equipment goes, you know, I, I want something that's that I'm going to be comfortable in because I'm I'm going to be out here for a while for you guys. So I oh, want yeah. I want something that's going to keep me warm in the in the winter, and something to keep me cool in the summertime without without any restrictions or restraints. Understand? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. I, I want if if as back to the fleet manager if if i'm out here running for you and running hard for you i want my paychecks to reflect that you see what i'm saying i don't want i, I don't want to turn around and have to constantly ask for miles i want 
if you know that I'm if you know that I'm out here running, give me the miles to reflect that. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and I I totally agree with you. And you you've heard about JB Hunt and, and who we are, and we are the biggest out there. We run more miles. We have more de dedicated runs, and we have and we're not stopping. We're adding more, we're gaining more, we're doing more, and you know, we're we're adding more accounts than we ever have in the past, and we need the drivers. So that's why we're 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 listening to our drivers, and that's why we've changed a lot of our stuff so that our drivers can be comfortable out there. And those miles, I mean, you guys, I mean, you basically you live in that truck, and we right. understand that, right? Matter of fact, I tell you what, uh, about three more cubicles down from me right now, there's a lady here. Mm -hmm. She drove her truck for 13 years. Guess where she's sitting at right now? In the cubicle. <laughs> three sitting here at corporate. <laughs> three, I mean, three aisles down. <laughs> yeah. All right. She, she's sitting at corporate. Right. And she, I mean, what company is going to take a truck driver and say, you know what, you, you drove 13 years first. How about we just bring you up to corporate? Okay. Nobody. All right. Well, that's Nobody's going to bring in their million mile uh, guys that drove a, mi a million miles or more and throw a massive party for them and fly their families in with them. Matter of fact, we're doing that tomorrow for a guy. Four million miles. All right. That's good to hear. Tell them, uh, tell them congratulations. Four million. That's mm. that's uh, that's an achievement right there. It's huge. All right. I got a guy that. We got a guy that works for us right now. He's going for his five million mile mark. Awesome. All right. Um, what's your name again? Jared. Jared, thank you very much, man, for taking the time out to uh, answer uh, my Q and A session. Um, I know you can send me an email so that I can, you know, get information off of that. But if I need any other information, what's the website that I can go to? It's called Drivers. Dot jbhunt.com drivers.jbhunt.com i got i got uh i got lots of people that 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 that's pretty much interested in the, in the companies i call all right jared right. man well again thank you hey man how long have you been a recruiter for the company this is my sixth. hey is this our eighth day yeah this is our eighth day eighth day okay well how long have you been a recruiter is this your first time being a recruiter for a company or you've been a recruiter for some other companies and you just no i was i was in the military for 13 years and then i sold cars for a little bit oh okay okay well awesome jared man well thank you very much um i would also like like to let you know that i record all my calls hey that's not a problem you know we probably you know record our calls for quality assurance as well as well all right. Well, Jared, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. You have a very blessed day, and thank you very, very much for the Q&A, man. All right. No problem. Thanks, sir. All right. And there you have it. J.B. Hunt, y'all. And I, I didn't even make the call. <laughs> Jared from J.B. Hunt called me up. I mean, let, let, me, let me get my phone right quick. I have my phone? I think I got my phone. I, I got no, I don't have my phone. But anyway, he just he called me up. I, I was about to make a call to a, another company, but he called me in the midst of me doing that and um and he uh took the QA session with me. So what do you guys think of that call? Now here's a young man. Uh he's been in the military, he done uh he done car sales and now he's doing recruiting for a trucking company so you know he's a rookie he's a rookie recruiter he hasn't you know haven't had any experience with the truck so of course he had to during the course of the call he had to go back and forth to get additional information because he didn't know uh, about about some of the questions that I was asking, majority of the answers that he was giving me was uh, was was read out of the read out of the manual, which is which is cool. That's you know, 
that's understandable especially being a rookie recruiter for a company you're not gonna you're not gonna know everything about that company right off the rip but at least he was open and honest with me with with the with the Q&A session he didn't try to he didn't try to like go off cuff or anything like that he the 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 questions that I asked if he couldn't answer it he went to somebody that could answer it and he brought it back to me for the answer so so guys that's it Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in the JB Hunt, definitely give Jerry the call and go on their website, drivers.jbhunt.com and get a little bit more information for yourself out there. All right, well, that's it. What do you guys think of the call? Leave the comments in the comments below. If you guys have any questions for me to ask these recruiters, Leave that in the comments below. And of course, who's next? Who would you like for me to call next? Leave that in the comments below. I am your host, your humble host, Lockout Men. Makes the call. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys take it easy, stay blessed out there, and I will come back at you with another episode. Until then, you guys stay safe. Peace.